Welcome back, Salamonids. My name is Tokreva, and this is some more European Universalis 4 playing as Ethiopian Decosta expansion. And we did it. We beat up the Ottomans. We are actually quite decent when it comes to how many men we need to recover. The Ottomans have 57 mercenaries active right now. So, yeah, they're gonna be paying the, for this for a while now. S Downside of this war was the timing of our, um, when shit went down, really. Yeah, the timing was bad. Because, um, the annexation of the Mamluks happened in the middle of the war. Might have gotten a little bit off easier by getting a free corps on Cairo, now I'm paying 283. The conquest of Jerusalem happened to us. Well, I guess we're getting another mercenary then. And I guess we're converting Cairo. Because, screw that. Oh man, I just don't want to know the rebellion that will fire in that province. Holy shit. That will be an insane one. But yeah, we have full control of Egypt now. Which also gives us a couple of other advantages as well. The main one being that we'll be able to move our trade node to Alexandria with a huge amount of power in the node. Who's going to be there first? You are, which means you should get our leader. If you're the first to arrive, you should have them. Oh yeah, we also have to deal with this rebellion as well. Probably just gonna combine, send half of them west. There we go. Okay, so combine, shift, consolidate, split up. This is probably the, yeah, this is the better one. That's pretty decent general as well, so that's a problem. The others can just siege that back. Okay, so we are one over our force limit, which means I'm just gonna get rid of one unit now. We're paying a lot in recovery. We have two loans we have to repay as well. But I can actually start on some mothballing some forts now. I could potentially even destroy one or two as well. For now, we're just gonna be content with mothballing these guys and... Two, two, and two. Well, I don't think we need all three here, so I'm going to destroy the one in Suez. Mothball the other two. I mean, we have a pretty sizable truce with the Ottomans, so that's nine years, roughly. I think our next target will be air. Yeah. And of course then there's Mutapa again in the near future too. Okay, so we still have some more to core. I'm waiting with coring mainly to bring my, to get my war exhaustion down first. I'm gonna through that I'm also pro free stability, hang on. I will abuse that too. By boosting once. That's not cheap, but it's a good way to abuse that. I will reduce the war exhaustion. Now, I could wait an entire year, but that takes a really long time. I'm at least going to core the two cheap ones. These as well. And Jerusalem as well. But we took Jerusalem. Not bad. There will be some more rebellions to deal with, obviously. Land theft. Ugh. Clergy... Nobility or neither. Ogaden will come to one of their controls, which is currently controlled by no one. Actually, gonna side with the nobility simply for the fact that um, we already have very high clergy and now we get cheaper maintenance for a while as well. And I don't have to call it day yet right now. And again, if I did that, I could... Yeah, I'm doing that. And demanding military supports. Don't even need that right now, though. 
Let's rather get some other supports. Administrative, yeah, that's the most we can get, but still the administrative we kind of need. I'm going to grant them Monopoly Charter, so we can core Gaza too. Okay, okay. Four missionaries. Oh man, it's going to be Coptic Africa. I can feel it. A revolt risk? Yeah, there are lots of revolt risks here right now. Tunisian separatists? Really? Certs. Why are you so pissed? Overextension. Um, you know what? Yeah, I feel like just reducing revolt risk here in some places. I'm gonna let them come to us if they so desire. There's zero forts back here as well. Yeah, I'm not planning on annexing anything more right now. <laughs> let Tunis handle them. Ha! <laughs> Better. They're now sieging down Tunis. Gonna have to keep my army there though. Because they will cross back soon enough. Oh, but this just feels good for a while, doesn't it? Okay, let's have a look at trade now. 37% here. All the money is flowing out. Well, I need. How much do I need? 200 diplo power first. It's the first thing we need. Then we're going to have to move a merchant into our Ethiopia node, probably, to move trade that way. I think. How many merchants do we have? Only two. Okay. The yeah, Gulf of Aden is obviously going to go the other way. We have a huge amount of trade power over here. I wonder, though, if we were to send our fleet, would they go on which side would they start patrolling in the node hmm. Hmm. well at least revolt risk back here is zero so I should convert them next Also, Tunis is, of course, a good target. They're only allied with Morocco. Hey, look, they're coming back now. I uh, could have expected that. Well, we're going to 3 stability. And I can start one more core, the one in Fayum. That just leaves us with Cairo. 12th of April, 5th, so I need to wait... Like a full week or something. Uh, also the 12th, that's perfectly fine. Ah, uh, we'll take care of the Tunisian separatists on our way out. We're back east. Ah, oh, that's not that many lost. Oh, we still need a lot more men though to recover. It's a conversion done. Wow, 13 now in places? That's great. Um, Tugur, I know that's there. Rosetta. You can go to search. Slowly it's becoming more Coptic as again. These two I just cannot convert yet, which is annoying. Benghazi converted. Let's do Allah Hut. I need 200. Wow, Persia is going crazy again. So we're gaining 11 right now, that's good. We need a little bit more to repair first loan. Then we, of course, get more income again by about two more income as well. 
Don't you have anywhere here that's actually fine for supply? Apparently not. Have to be all the way in Alexandria. Well, we're about to run into the rebels that I wanted to kill anyway, so that's a good thing. Um, you guys... Oh, you were in Rosetta. If we were to send you to Alexandria right now, they would start... Just going... Yeah, they would stay here. Yay. There we go. And they're running over to Alexandria, where I want them to be. There's still revolt risk. Oh my god, seriously? Too bucked. Probably because I was there when they fired. Eh. You converted yet? Not yet. Time to repay the first loan. Yeah, I need something to do to counter this inflation. So that would mean economic ideas. Yeah, because we have too much gold. There's also land maintenance modifier, which is good. Um, build cost down is... Uh, Production efficiency and tax modifier are like to basically make more money, but we are making money from gold and that needs to be countered somehow. Best way, of course, is to have a master of mint because he also gives you points. Hmm, I'm gonna switch back to admin focus too. Only 31. We'll last a while. How's Spain doing? Still, yep. They got themselves someone else. Overextension is dangerous. Yeah. Mamluks are about to be throwing at Tissy again. I mean, they have a really high chance of getting the revolt up every time. But once Cairo gets converted... That might mean enough. Hang on. We did already do some conversions. Alright. 90%. Oh man. Please, for the love of God, don't fire in Cairo. Well, we just converted them, so that's good. The missionary is still gonna drop. That's 10. I could actually reduce this now to 0, but I don't really want to. Um, I mean, yeah, cannot do that. Oh, we're coring that probably. Uh, actually, Sunni Zealots as well in Cairo, which is perfect. Nearly, we can almost do it. Two more months so we can move our trade port to Rosetta or... Um, I think Alexandria is probably the better one. Also give them to the burgers. That's good. Local trade power double or 50%. Same with Rosetta. Yes. It's going to have to be Alexandria now. Okay, let's actually have a look at this. So currently, um, we're making from trade 15.31. Moving our trade capital to Alexandria. Of course, we're going to move money that direction as well. Convert it to Gur. Zumizab. Okay, so how much will this be? Only 4.9 here. Wow, they're still pulling that much. Wow, that's actually pretty big diminishing. But we are pushing everything out from Ethiopia. Maybe I should... Okay. Yeah, I see a, some problems, obviously. Uh, 
Um, I think it will automatically push in the right direction as well. So I need to put this guy here and this guy there. I'm going to just test this out for now. It did cost me 200 dip points, but if you get there... Some more conversions have finished. It's even less. Because it's moving the wrong way. Kilwa is moving it. Oh, crap. Yeah, and apparently our power in Aleppo is just way too low. The Ottomans have about 149. Okay, so what I need to do... Set my trade fleet to Aleppo. That should give us quite a bit. Also, they're all just barks. I need to upgrade that fleet at some point. Um, Aleppo... It's gonna be a while before they get there, though. But yeah, this has just hurt my trade income significantly. Because I... So I think... Um, I'm lucky in Separatists. In Jerusalem, okay. It's a 32 stack. Of course it is. Um, let's see, I do think I need to move this guy over here then. Just to make sure our money gets to Alexandria in the first place. Um, marketplaces. Yeah, of course they have them. That's good. So it doesn't help that we're still overextended and stuff. Okay, that should be already more money. Yeah, it's already more. Just don't have that much strength in Aleppo, which is the big deal here. Or did we really just lose 12,000 troops on a rebel fight? Holy crap. Things that are just plain annoying at times, I guess. And now all the money is just going north from Basra as well. I need more merchants. Yeah, I do. So, which means I should focus my colonization effort on Australia. That's probably the easiest way for me to get another merchant right now. So that would be to Malgana. Um, probably going to need four infantry units for that. I'll also bring a cavalry, actually. Make your way to the horn. Oh, good. More separatists. whoop de doo Right before they finished working on pouring it. Like, right then and there. Also, I can freaking pour Cairo now. Fine, I'll reject the demands. Better than all that autonomy everywhere. Wow, the Ardalan Separatists have been holding out for a long time already. Well, that's gonna take care of that. That's a better loss. Native simulation, that's always nice to have. That's a core. Of course, we'll bring down Revolt Risk as well. Still Sunni Zealots in, Car uh, in Cairo as well. Despite the fact it's now Coptic. You have loans, I know. Our trade change didn't really do that much right now. 
because it's all being pulled in the wrong direction. I mean, we are getting a decent share now of Aleppo, but... Uh, finally managed to convert the heretics of Orgla. Next conversion. Another core done. Jerusalem is about to be cored. Didn't even lose anyone in that fight. I finally have my trade port moved, but it's still not worth it. I mean, holy crap, we only... F we lack two provinces and they have that much trade power here. Transfers from traders downstream. Of course, that's not helping me. So yeah, I need more trade power in Alexandria, that much for sure. Even Spain has 41 trade power without any effort. Wow. But we're getting more and more power here now. Our fleet is here, right? Yeah, it is. 50 ships now. Another core. Fayum is nearly cored. Oh, no, actually, that was... That was a conversion, apparently. I'm going to convert Jerusalem to Coptic, because we can. And I would like to thank you all for watching. Make sure to like this video if you enjoyed it. And subscribe to the channel if you want to keep up to date in the future. I'll see you guys later.